Okay, let's first copy these figures. Okay, if you have copied this one, then let us discuss the problem. So this says a force F, so force vector F is given by by a square minus x square plus z square i cap plus 3x by minus 5z j cap and plus 4 4z k cap so this is the force vector is given by is applied on a particle so this force is applied on a particle find the work done by the force when particle moves from so we have to find work done so what is the work done on the particle if the particle moves from point 0 0 0 so particle moves from 0 0 0 240 so if the particle is moving from 000 to 240 and and in the path shown in the figure as below so you see so basically particle is going from so this is my 000 origin this motion is only in one plane so let us only consider 0 0 so this motion is so this moving in is x y plane this is also moving in the x y plane this is also moving in the x y plane so z coordinate is always 0 in this case so this is a planar motion you can say so the movement is only in x by plane x by plane motion so if this motion is in the x y plane I can say z coordinate is always 0 are you getting or not so let us see, let us find the work done in the process 1. So I can say work done in process 1, let us say A, what will the work done? I have to find work done in this process and I have to work done in this process. Let us call this work done as W1 and this is W2. And then if I add these two work done, I will get the total work done because work done is a, uh, a scalar quantity. So in process 1, what is the work done? So W1 we can calculate. So let us first write the equation for force. If I am going in this direction, Y coordinate is always 0 because this is the X axis. Z coordinate is always 0. So my force vector, so Y becomes 0, Z becomes 0. So now I can find force. So force becomes, so if I plug Y is equal to 0, so this becomes minus X square I. I think all of you are able to understand minus x square i now here also if we put y equals to 0 this term 0 x z equals to 0 this term 0 this equals to 0 so this this term becomes 0 this is also 0 so I have only force minus x square into i are you getting now work done from here to here so w1 will be simply f dot dx f dot dr integral and f is given by minus x square i are you getting and dr is simply dx i so this is dx i vector so if you do this one so you will have minus x square dx you have to do integration and this is going from so let us say here the initial coordinate is 0 and the final x coordinate is 2 so this is 0 to 2 
So what integration we will have? So we will have x cube by 3 minus x cube by 3. So I can write x is finally so 2 to the power 3, so 8 by 3, so minus 8 by 3. I think all of you are able to understand. Similarly, you find work done in process 2, w2. So let us find w2. So to find w2, I can say in this case, x is constant. So let us first write uh, force vector. So in this case, x is always constant. x is equals to 2. So I have to find w2. In this case, x is always 2. z is 0 and y is changing. So let us find force vector first. So this is my force vector. So force vector will become by a square and x is always 2 so minus 4 z is 0 so this is i cap and in this case z is 0 and x is 2 so 3 into 2 6 by so plus 6 by z now z is 0 so this force is 0 now work done will be f dot dr so work 2 this will be f dot dr and in this case force is by a square minus 4 i plus 6 by z and dr is i am going along the y axis so i am going along this side so that is y axis that is d by z so d by z now if we take dot product i dot z is 0 so i will have simply 6 by a square ah sorry 6 by d by so j dot dot j is uh, 1 and y into d y so 6 by d y so i have to integrate now y coordinate changes from 0 to 4 so let us see here initial y coordinate is 0 and the final y coordinate is 4 so I have to integrate from 0 to 4 I think all of you are able to understand so this integration goes from 0 to 4 so you will have 6 by a square by 2 are you getting so if you plug this value so 3 by a square and y is basically 0 to 4 so this is 0 to 4 so 4 square, so 3 into 4 square, 16 into 3, 48. So what is the total work done? So total work done is W1 plus W2. And if you see in the last, so W1 comes out to be minus 8 by 3. So minus 8 by 3 plus 48. This is the work done in this process. So if you solve this one, so 48 into 3 minus 8, so we will have 48 into 3 minus 8 and this is equal to this, so 136 by 3, are you getting, so we will have 136 by 3, so this value comes out to be 136 by 3, so this is the joule that work done we have performed, let us consider the case B. Now in this case, the object is taken in the process in which y is equals to 2x. So the process is y is equals to 2x. So in this case, finding work done is slightly uh, complicated. So let us try to understand. Once again, I will find work done in this process using the formula f dot dr. And in general, dr can be written as dxi plus dyz. Because it's a planar, I am not writing z component. So dxi plus dyz and f can also be written as fxi plus fyj and if I take dot product with dxi plus dyz then I will have fx dx plus fy dy so I have to calculate integration fx dx and f by dy. Are you getting? Now the equation of process is y is equals to 2x. So this is the process equation that is given to you. And let us try to find force. Force is given to you. y square minus x square. And z square is basically 0. So y square minus x square i cap. So this is i cap. Plus... 3x by j cap and z is 0 so you see what we are doing is I am plugging this value here so this is the force vector z is 0 I am plugging here z is 0 I am plugging here z is 0 I am plugging here so I will have this force vector now I also know y is equals to 2x so let us find fx in terms of x and this is my fx this is my fy 
I want to find fx in terms of x so that integration becomes easy. So this is my fx. fx is y square minus x square. And f well, let us find fx in terms of x. So I can write y is equals to 2x. Equation is y is equals to 2x. So this is square minus x square. So this is simply 3x square. So fx is given by 3x square. Similarly, fy, this value, 3xy into j, that is fy, so this one. You see, this is a fy. So I can find this fy also. 3xy into j, so that is the fy. Now I will again find this in the form of y because equation of the process is y is equals to 2x that is the equation so I can plug, plug x is equals to y by 2 so x is equals to y by 2 into y so this is the equation 3 by a square by 2 now let us find work done so work done will be fx dx and fx is nothing but 3x square and dx integral plus fy d by fy is nothing but 3 by a square by 2 d by and now the process is so x changes from so 0 to 2 so x is 0 finally 2 x by 0 finally 4 so this integration goes from 0 to 2 and this goes from 0 to 4 I think all of you are able to understand now this is x q by 3 so this will be simply x q 0 to 2 plus this is y q by 3 so this will be simply 3 3 goes out so by q and 1 by 2 is there and this 0 to 4 are you getting so if I integrate these two I will have 8 here and here I will have uh, 32 are you getting or not so 32 plus 8 that is 40 joule work done has been performed in this process now let us consider the process C once again in this process I will use the same thing work done is given by we have already derived fx dx plus fy dy but in this case y is given by y is equals to x square you see the process so process is in this case process is y is equals to x square so I will use this thing now fx you, have, you see uh, I can always write fx fx is you see here y square minus x square if z is 0 so then it's a y square minus x square I want to find in terms of x but y is x square so I can write y is equals to x square so this becomes x4 x4 minus x square and this is the fx similarly I can find fy so fy will be you see here 3xy into z cap because z is 0 so 3xy into z so simply 3xy now I want to find in terms of y so y is nothing but uh, x square by x square so root of root of x is root of y so 3 root of y into y that is basically fy so this is basically 3 by to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 so 3 by to the power 3 by 2 are you getting now let us integrate this to equation then you will get the final result so total work done will be fx dx are you getting an fx is x4 minus x square dx and this integration of course 0 to 2 I think all of you are able to understand and the second is fy dy that is 3 by to the power 3 by 2 and dy this goes from 0 to 4 are you getting so let us copy this one fast and then you integrate and let me see how many of you are getting the answer. So if you integrate this one, so this will be x5 by 5 minus x cube by 3, this is 0 to 2 plus 3 and here you will have y to the power 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 and this goes from 0 to 4 so you will have this is uh, 2 into 2 to the power 5 so 2 to the power 5 is uh, let me check 2 to the power 5 this is 32 so 32 by 5 minus 8 by 3 plus 
this value if I put x equals to 4, y equals to 4, so 3 into 2, so this 6 by 5 multiplied by to the power 5 by 2, that is 4 to the power 5 by 2. So let me check this value. So 4 to the power 5 by 2 And this comes out with 32. So 4 to the power 5 by 2 is 32. You can check yourself. To get units, you can write 4 to the power 5 by 2 is 2 to the power 2. So 2 to the power 5. So this is simply as 4 to the power 5 by 2. Are you getting or not? So 4 to the power 5 by 2 is same as 2 to the power 2 into 5 by 2. So this is simply as 2 to the power 5. 2 to the power 5 is 32. So now you see, you will have this two term. So 32 by 5 if I take common, so you will have 1 plus 6, so into 7 by 5, minus 8 by 3. Let us calculate this term, and what is the value you are getting? So if you take 15, in the denominator you will have 32 into 7 into 3, minus 8 into 5. So let us calculate this value. So let me check 32 into 7. So I'm doing this one, 32 into C1 into 3 minus 8 into 5. So this comes out to be 632. You can check your calculation on your own. 632 by 15. So this is the amount of Zool, amount of work that has been performed. Now you see in this question what is the important point we have. The work done in different process are different. You see in the first process work done is... Uh, minus 8 by 3 plus something so you see and in the second process work done is 40 joule in the third process work done is 632 by 15 joule so in different different process work done is different this suggests me this force field is not a conservative field are you getting so if I'm going through these three process there is a force vector force field vector that is given to you so force field is given by this equation now if we go for this process of path 1, A, path A, if I go by path B, initial and final situation is same. In this case also initial and final situation is same. If I go different process, if I go by a different process, work done by the different process are different, this suggests me, this force field is not a conservative field. So now I can say, the field of force, field of force, is not conservative and this is the important point we have in this question so to test whether field is conservative or not this is one criteria that is you go from different different path and you see whether work done is zero or work done is same or not if work done is same then the process is the field is conservative if the work done is not same the field is not conservative are you getting we'll discuss the next problem i think all of you will understand this one